Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcomes you to my series Iconological and Temple Architecture Perspectives. Now, in this series, we visit multiple temples, multiple historical sites, many areas of outstanding natural beauties. We go there, analyze the buildings, not only temples, but also the old buildings, go in the details of the architectural structures and find out if we can come to any reasonable conclusion or we can understand it. Now, in this contest, today's topic is Ravan Pahari Caves. Now, this Ravan Pahari Caves are in Ayur and Ayur is in Bagalkot district of Karnataka. Usually, once we think of Ayur, we think of experimentation of temple, we think of laboratory, where lot of different varieties were uh, invented, they were made popular and they constructed temples accordingly. But there are also beginning for it. Earlier, it was a cave temple. From cave temple, they went to the structured engineering. So, this today's topic is based on a cave temple. But we will see how beautifully they have made a cave temple. And that also in an era where they have limited tools with them. But before that, acknowledgement and disclaimers. To prepare this topic, a lot of people have helped me directly or indirectly. Lot of guides at the location, lot of local people who has helped me there and also gained or given me a knowledge by which I have got many good ideas. They have given me historical aspects. I acknowledge with thanks all of them. I also thank the people who has prepared this speech, that is our technical staff. With that, let's start today's topic. And today's topic is based on the cave temples and that is a Ravan Pahari. It's a rocket cave temple. It's uh, protected by ASI and you will find it. Once you enter the premises, you will find this Amalaka there. So, you know once upon a time this Amalaka would have been top on the Kalash or Stupi and that would have decorated the temple. Now, before entering, let's have a close look at the surroundings. Video narrating scene. This is another important site at uh, Aihori. This is uh, carved in a single stone. That's why it is very important. Now we can see it is a protected monument. And we'll see inside how it looks. But most important thing is it is carved in a single stone. Now let's go inside. Now look at this cave temple. From distance you look only a cave. But once you start going nearer, let's see how many wonderful things are there. So let us study Ravana Pahari temple. Ravana Pahari is one of the oldest rocket temple in Aihol, located less than a kilometer uphill northeast from the Durga temple complex. The temple dates to 6th century. 
The entrance has enrolled fluted columns and a seated nandi facing the temple. As we know, each and every Mahadev temple, there has to be nandi sitting outside and it, nandi faces the Shiva Lingam. So that a routine, except possibly a temple in uh, Maharashtra Kopeshwar, where it is, there is no nandi in the temple. Now there are also small monuments here in addition to the cave temple, Nandi, there are some small monuments also and small temples also. One of the carving inside is Ardha Narishwara, that is half Shiva and half Parvati. So it is a combination of powers and femininity. So the, in that way gods are presented. When they are a combination of two, then combination of Shiva and uh, God Vishnu, Shiva and Parvati, all combinations we'll see in different carvings. Now let, let's have a look at this video and go ahead. This place is uh, Ravan Fadi, which is uh, near I hope. It's a stone cut cave in which we are seeing beautiful sculptures. They are really well preserved. This is uh, Mahadeva temple as indicated by Nandi is outside and really good carvings. Inside the cave are three near square mandapas. The innermost featuring Shiva Lingam and connected to the entrance mandapam by a rectangular space. The entrance of the Ravan Pahadi cave has a nidhi and has a nidhi and seated guardian on each side. That is the doorkeeper is wrong word, but these are the guards at the door. When on left side is an image of uh, Ardha Narishwara portraying equivalence of essential interdependence of the masculine Shiva and feminine right Parvati. So it's a combination of power and femininity. So together is the Ardha Nateshwara. Bhaz diffuse image is the first mandapa to the left of which is the niche carved space. In the 6th century, artwork showing dancing Shiva is the Nataraja, like we have seen just now. Ardha Narishwara is uh, Shiva and Parvati. Now here what we are seeing is the dancing Shiva that is called as Nataraja with Parvati and Saptamatrikas. Saptamatrikas are seven goddesses. They are either uh, with the vehicles, they can be without vehicles or they can be with accompanying deities. They 
इसेंशियली रिप्रेजेंट पावर दैट इज शक्ति एंड ट्रेडिशनल गणेशा एंड कार्तिका में भी देयर और समटाइम गणेशा एंड शिवा में भी देयर सो सप्त मातृकाज आर अकम्पनीड बाई डिफरेंट गॉड्स ऑन राइट साइड ऑफ द मेन मंडपा इज हरिहरा पोर्ट्रेइंग ए फ्यूज इमेज ऑफ शिवा एंड विष्णु वॉट इसेंशियली इट्स एज दैट शैविजम एंड वैष्णविजम आर सेम दे आर द पार्ट ऑफ सेम सोसाइटी सो देर इज नो डिफरेंसेस how it is represented in temples is by fusion of shiva with vishnu and you can see it in this temple on opposite wall of harihara is the shiva with three primary river goddesses hindu the rivers are worshiped and preliminary rivers which are considered as the purest and also they are worshiped are the ganga saraswati how you are Brahmaputra is considered as a male and not as a goddess and Saraswati so these goddesses are worshiped and since many years their worship is going on you can see there is one skeleton like uh, structure or the skeleton like a person he is a vengi he is, was a devotee of Shiva and he has worship Shiva to the extent that he lost all his muscles and he was left only with bones so he was bringi now continuing ravan pahadi the main mandapa connects to two other square mandapas so totally there, there are three places one main and there are two additional to the north is a sanctum flanked by shiva guardians at the entrance so always a main deity has got a uh, at door they have got a guardian or they have got a other uh, gods which are at the gateway then vaishnava varaha or vishnu bor avatara rescuing goddess earth is on the left there are different vishnu avataras out of which 10 are important one of it is a varaha avatar when he has saved mother earth so that is shown in one of the picture to the right is carved image of shakti durga as uh, mahishasura mardini so she has killed a demon mahishasura to establish a peace so that carving is there and there is one buffalo demon demon she has killed that you can see she is killing a buffalo that was a demon in that To the east of the main mandapa is the empty monastery-like chamber. The ceiling of the cave has uh, reliefs. One, for example, showing Vishnu with uh, Lakshmi flying on the winged Garuda. Garuda is a vehicle of Vishnu, so it is always shown with the Vishnu. Another shows a Vedic god Indra with Indrani on the elephant. So the Vedic god Vishnu is shown with elephant. The round pahari cave is stylishly unique in the Aihole region. The closest artwork and style is they found in the Rameshwara caves of Ellora, North Maharashtra. That is on different video. According to a French visitor, a Italian visitor, the round pahari caves bridges the style and designs of the that is rock cut tradition of the Deccan with the Tamil Nadu. But that is what was his opinion. that is paya brancasio so paya brancasio what he thought was a link between the tamil nadu and this so that was his opinion and he is based on his research this is amalaka then we are seeing temple from outside nandi has to be there facing shiva then there are two small temples adjacent to it ravan pahadi we are continuing at the entrance gate there has to be guardians beautifully carved in a single mountain stone this is an excellent example of cave cut temples we'll find lot in badami that is cave 1 2 3 4 and here also at ravan pahadi 
and there are few more also which you are going to see in different different videos of i hold they are devoted to jainism some of them to buddhism and some of to lord shiva or vishnu all these things we are going to see in different different videos today's video is on ravan pahadi and balancing stone is nicely seen not kalash not a shikhara but a balancing stone adds into the beauty lot of such thing you will see more in hampi where you will see lot of balancing stone balancing for years without falling do visit our videos covering uh, hampi nandi carves you a single stone usually on nandis they are with a single stone these are panoramic views to give you an idea how excellent are the surrounding premises continuing with same nandi can either be in open air or there can be nandi mandapam nandi can be inside the temple or outside the temple all sorts of varieties are available now here we are seeing dancing shiva with parvati nataraja symbolization indicates shiva in dancing position we have taken all directional photographs to give you a close up in more detail how it was to give you a visual virtual presentations not only of the outside but also of the inside the caves one of the limitation is light is coming from the outside from the entrance and inside there is a dark so the visibility and clarity of the photography is accordingly you will see certain areas they are bright that is because light is coming over there now here you are seeing nataraja dancing shiva then you are seeing G ganesha and also you are seeing goddess parvati shivalingam in central portion there is no active worship going on there here are different different deities which we have just now discussed you must be remembering all these things you will have to appreciate over here in close up shivalingam just to show you it is not in a single part and it might be that it is not of that time this is a ceiling which gives a beautiful decorations so even ceilings are decorated imagine how they must have see the ceilings how they are decorated now the skeleton is ringi and shiva and parvati you are can see the up you can see are the three goddesses they are goddesses they are river goddesses that we have just now seen ganga yamuna and saraswati the unique feature is the hari hara with shiva there are three primary rivers and there are three goddesses representing three rivers in hinduism the goddess goddesses or rivers are worshiped now few more we shall we have already talked we have discussed but in different angle with different uh, details some close ups and you can see the even uh, pillars are decorated now here again dancing shiva with parvati ganesha and kartika kartika is the first son of shiva ganesha is the second son here also you are seeing same different different if you see vishnu there has to be either garuda with him or vajra in his hand so that's the identification more close ups to give you more details and secondly shiva has never got any ornaments he is always wearing natural things if you are seeing ornaments uh, usually it is vishnu and not shiva 100% the unique feature is hari hara that is shiva with three primary rivers who are the goddesses and shiva stands with parvati and skeleton this is ringi what we are seeing he was a devotee of shiva and he did devotion to such extent that he lost all his muscles and blood vessels
with that we are coming to end of this small presentation over Rahon Pahari. Why I have given you more detail is when you go to Ahori, Ahori don't miss to see it. It is not the only place but there are many more places in Ahori. As they say there are more than 1051, there are more than 150 temples which you can visit. But you will see different architecture, different varieties. Thank you, goodbye and take care, watch our videos, lot of videos are made, different different on different temples, so also there are travel blocks, do visit our website, thank you, goodbye and take care.